Hello everyone and welcome to the second of our three half-term wellbeing webinars with Paralympic gold medal winning swimmer Oli Hines. As mentioned yesterday, for those that are on the call, Hogan Lovells is officially a legal services provider to the British Paralympic Association and has had a relationship with the BPA since before Beijing 2008. Oli himself has been our BPA ambassador since 2015. For those, who don't know, for those that don't know me, um, I run the gym and our one wellbeing program at Hogan Lovells. And it's a pleasure for me once again to be talking to Ollie today. For those that tuned into yesterday's session, Ollie took us through some fantastic exercises you can do at home with only a tennis ball and a chair. And if you missed it, don't worry, there will be a recording of the session available. Next slide, please. But as with yesterday, this isn't an opportunity just for me to ask Ollie all the questions. You can ask the questions to Ollie also, whether that be about nutrition how well he got into competitive swimming, the nature of his disability, how lockdown has been for him. Any questions that you may have uh, for Oli, please use the Q&A button. It's really easy. So if you look at the bottom of the screen, Oli and I can see the questions as they're coming through. So I will do my best and we'll do our best as the session goes on to answer as many of your questions as you can. Next slide, please. All right, so today's session, we're gonna be talking all about nutrition. We're gonna be doing a live depth recipe demonstration today. So if you are participating, have all your ingredients ready, like Polly and I have today. If you'd like to use the recipe another day, take a screenshot of the recipe on the screen now. We will send it via email to everyone who registered for today's session, and it will be on the internet as part of our UK wellbeing pages. Okay, so let's get started. Brill. Yeah, let's, let's get started. So uh, this is just a, a really quick and easy uh, recipe to make overnight oats. Um, basically, this is something that I started doing during lockdown. Um, I found it, it was a really great breakfast. I just, to be honest, I found the recipe um, in Joe Wicks' book, so <laughs> I stole it from there. A lot of people have one, and that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I thought it was, it was really good. Obviously, um, overnight oats, it's got a lot of kind of different great things in there. You know, obviously, you've got your carbs, so you've got a lot of energy. Um, for me personally and for the adults you can you can add protein powder in as well um so yeah it was a really really great um breakfast for me to to start and obviously as i'm back in normal swimming and normal training a little bit more now um it's great to, to kind of keep that going um so first of all what i want you to do is take your banana and just chop it up so that it's just kind of loosely chopped like that into a relatively small pieces. Okay, so for those at home guys, I'm going to be doing the activity as we go along. So, right, I've got my banana, let's do that. And yeah, for all those at home, please uh, please do join in. Yeah. Yeah, like I say, it's a, it's a really good breakfast that you can, um, you can do it the night before. I think that's that's kind of the beauty of this. You can, you can do it the night before, obviously put it in the fridge, cover it, and then it's just kind of ready to, to grab there in the morning, which is, is perfect, really. Um, I think is that's something that you do. Is, is this something that you've used for a long time? Um, to be honest, no. I, I only started doing this kind of lockdown. I, I'd experimented with overnight oats and stuff, and um, yeah, I, I just found it was really great because obviously there's so much good stuff packed in there, and it's very convenient to to be able to do it the night before, not think about it in the morning. So when I when I come back from training, um, it's just there easy so you know okay. for me well, so I've the bananas yeah so put the bananas into a cup for, for this recipe guys you will need a blender um so i'm using a nutribullet so i just put mine into the little nutribullet cup that you, you get given but you can you know you can put it in um kind of a, a container and then put it into your blender depending on what you've got um, so the next thing I want you to do is measure out 250 milliliters of milk. So of course I've already yeah I've done that already as well. <laughs> it's the first time I've got almond milk. I've never bought almond milk. Yeah, to be honest, I use I don't use um, almond milk. I just use kind of semi skim milk because I don't like almond milk. So um, yeah, what whatever works for you. And I think that's another great thing about these overnight oats is you can experiment a little bit. Um, you know, you can experiment with different fruits and, like I say, almond milk or, or whatever you want, different yogurt um, types, you, whatever you, you kind of prefer, you can, you can experiment a little bit with. 
So pour your milk into your container with the banana. All right, I've got it. Like that, nice and easy. Right, next, I want you to weigh out 75 grams of yogurt. So it should just look, look like that. I've got one of these little pots, so I'm going to yep. throw the pot straight in. So for me, uh, I think on the recipe it said um, full fat strawberry yogurt, I think it, it says. Um, but for me, I like to use um, the ski yogurt, the Icelandic yogurt, because it's just really, really high in protein. Um, and I, I just really like the taste. So I, I go for that personally. But like I said, the great thing about the, the overnight oats is you can experiment and just kind of see what, what works for you really and um, what you like. Um, That's the thing with most breakfasts, isn't it? Is that basically you can take a recipe and you can just try different things? Yeah, you can make it your own. I think that's you know that's what it's about, isn't it? So once you've weighed that out, just tip that into the cup with the milk and the banana. Brilliant. So, Ollie, before um, all of the lockdown and everything, what, what was your go-to breakfast? Um, it depends, really. Um, obviously on days that I'm, I'm swimming and things in the morning, when I'm doing a morning session, um, I guess kind of the, the nutritional needs are a little bit different as opposed to when I'm not swimming. Um, you know, so when I am swimming, you know, it, you, want, you want something, you know, that's high, high in protein. Like I say, this ski yogurt is really, really high in protein. So um, just some ski yogurt with some fruit in, um, you know, maybe you can put some nuts in it and stuff, just something like that. Or I might have um, some eggs or toast or whatever. Um, yeah, it just depends, I guess, altering it slightly for, for when I'm not training and when I'm training. Because obviously, if I swam in the morning, protein is really important for me to recover, especially if I'm coming into the pool again in the afternoon to do a second session. So, um, yeah, trying, trying to keep it as high in protein as possible. So, yeah, the, the ski yogurt is kind of like my, my go-to. Again, really easy. But what again, like I say, with, with the uh, the oats, what I love about it is it's just it's just so easy and it's just there and it's filled with great stuff. So, right. So next, again for the adults, this is wouldn't recommend it that the kids put um, the protein powder in. So I get thirty grams of protein powder, um, and then I add that into the mix again just to up the protein intake really important for me for, for the recovery and the protein powder that I use um, is from Healthspan Elite and it's just non-flavoured but again you can experiment if you like chocolate flavoured protein powder you can use that or you can do what you want basically. Yeah, uh, less sugar the better though right? Yes yeah definitely yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah kids at home basically no sugar. Yes yeah yeah don't be pouring sugar in there. <laughs> Obviously there's, there's quite a lot of fruit in the overnight oats as well so there is quite a high amount of carbs in in it but you know it's, it's all good stuff it's all good carbs and um like i say if especially if you do an exercise in the morning or maybe you've got um i don't know it could be even even a long day at school for instance i think this is this is really good because it's got that energy it's got those carbs the good carbs that you get from the fruit that's going to power you for, for the rest of the day. So, you know, so good, good carbs, good source, source of protein, but just low, you know, added sugars. Yes. Yeah. Brilliant. And low in fat as well. Cause the yogurt that I use, the ski yogurt's really low in fat again, which is, is really good. Yeah. Um, so if you are putting the, the protein powder in, like just pour that into the, uh, the mix with the rest of it. Like so. Right, once you've done that, it's going to get a little bit loud because it's time to use the blender. Oh, okay, all right. So, like I say, for me, I've got a Nutri Bullet, um, but whatever blender you've got will, will be fine. And it doesn't really take a lot of blending, to be honest. It's mainly just the banana that you want to, to kind of mash up and, and get all of the goodness out of it. Yeah. So it's gonna be a little bit loud, but we'll we'll go for it. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> nice and 
Nice I've to meet you. I've done a little bit, is that okay? You are, sorry? I've just blended a little bit, I haven't done too much. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't need a lot, to be honest. Okay. Obviously, it's um, it's about experimenting, obviously, with, with the individual blender and kind of um, how long it takes. But for me, obviously, you just saw I, I wasn't blending it for very long and it's pretty much all, all blended nicely and together. So, um, Ollie, I've had a really good question come in. Um, so, is protein more important than carbohydrates for sports? Don't cyclists have to eat lots of carbs? It's a good question. I think I wouldn't say one's more important than the other. I would say that they're both very, very important, but they're very important for different reasons. Um, so, for me, uh, the event that I swim, my, my, my best event is the 400 freestyle. So, with that nature, my, my training is fairly endurance aerobic based so just the pure volume of training that I'm, I'm doing in the week um you know carbs are, are really important because if i didn't didn't get enough carbs i wouldn't i wouldn't have the energy to to do all the kind of meat in the pool um but on the other hand like say when i'm doing double sessions particularly so um on a tuesday in in my normal training um i will swim early in the morning i'll go straight into the gym and then I'll have swimming again in the evening. So three sessions in a day is, is quite a lot. So it's important to, to optimize the recovery between morning swim, gym, and then obviously the, the swim in the evening. So protein is obviously really important for that. So I wouldn't say one's more important than the other, but it's just about looking at what kind of exercise, what kind of training, what kind of needs that you, you've got really. Um, yeah. And just a, and a question has come through, just to clarify, did you say ski yogurt or skier yogurt? Skier yogurt, yeah. I, th I believe it's S-K-Y-E-R. -E I think that's how it's spelled. Like yeah, yeah. So not ski, the fruity one. <laughs> no, 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 no. no <laughs> if you find, uh, if you go to the supermarkets and look at the yogurt, it's Icelandic yogurt. Yeah, I high, high in protein, so it's... it's yeah. <laughs> Right. Okay. So once you've uh, you've blended your your mix, so I, I was saying to Manesh um, just before. So this recipe, it does say it's for one person, kind of one one serving, but I find it probably makes about one and one and a little bit, one and a half servings. So um, it doesn't fit in a bowl. So I like to do mine in a measuring jug, and it's easy to kind of stick in the fridge as well. So what I want you to do is pour you mix into your bowl or, or measuring jug, wherever you, you're going to put it. Like so. Yep. Nice and easy. Right, this is where the, uh, the oats comes into play. So what I want you to do is measure out 100 grams of oats, which I've already done. Okay, I'm going to do that just now. Give me a sec. Yep. Okay, I'm ready. So then you take your oats, pour them into the mixture, like that. Yep. Grab a spoon. Uh, right, got it. And then it's just about mixing it all up, so all the oats are, are mixed in with the banana and the yogurt and the milk. I have to be honest, I've never made this before. I'm not really sure why I haven't done it before. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously, it's, it's kind of grown in popularity over the, the last few years. I know it's very much uh, a swimmer's favourite. I think, you know, like I say, because it's, it's so convenient and, and packed full of, of good stuff. But, um, yeah, it's, de it's definitely one to to have in your back pocket that you, you know how to make. And, like I say, you, you, can, you can even make, um, like, bigger batches, so you could... Um, kind of adjust the, the measurements and, and make a big bigger batch so you've got you know maybe like two days three days if you keep it in the fridge then then it'll be absolutely fine so um, I think, um, you make a good point basically because we're talking about obviously making this now but it's also about planning your diet and nutrition in advance yeah absolutely basically not just almost doing it on the spot but actually having a plan of what you're going to have when yeah absolutely yeah I think as well that's 
that's one of the reasons um, why people make bad choices um, is the, the convenience factor of it. And, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to say I, I eat perfectly all the time every single day. You know, it's, it's not possible, but making the good choices um, and having those prepared ready, it, it just makes it a lot easier. Um, like we were saying yesterday about the consistency with the, um, the exercises and the mobility. Um, if you can generally get that consistency with your nutrition throughout the week um, and kind of keep that going, you, you're going to be kind of on, onto a winner, really. Yeah. And you're also showing with this recipe as well how easy it is for kids to do at home. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, it's so easy. Once you've got the hang of it, you know, you can do it in, in 10 minutes and you've, you've got your breakfast sorted for, for the next two, three days. Um, but yeah, it's brilliant. So once you've given it a nice stir, that's pretty much it. So then what all you need to do is cover your container, put it in the fridge overnight and kind of let it, it set and, and do its thing. Which we'll have some blueberries as well. Yeah, we'll yeah. Save, save them till the end. Save them till, okay, save them till the end, okay. Yeah. So obviously I made another batch last night, which I have here. <laughs> got another one so as you, as you can see it kind of solidifies a little bit it's, it's quite runny now um when when it's been in the fridge overnight so all you need to do grab a spoon again give it a nice little stir till it's kind of a it's, it's very similar to, to like a porridge i guess well obviously because it's oats um but it's just kind of thickens it up a little bit so once you've given it a stir, grab a bowl and you can pour some in. Yeah, I see what you mean. That's quite a big portion, isn't it? Yeah, very, very big. <laughs> Not sure who that is. Apologies. That's your manager. Yeah. <laughs> so then... This is where the blueberries and, and fruit and things comes into play. So I like strawberries and blueberries. So I've just gotten a, a little bowl of, of those. Yeah. All you have to do, stick those on top. And you've got a nice healthy breakfast. And again, you can experiment with that. Um, you can put honey on it. I was putting... you just want to step back a little bit. Just step back a little bit. There you go. Just so you can see your face. <laughs> That's yeah. It. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah, like I say, you, you can you can really experiment um, with that if you if you want to put nuts on it. That's obviously great, and again, another great source of protein. Um, I've experimented with honey; it's really nice putting kind of a drizzle of honey over the top. Um, any fruit you want, yeah, you can you can just kind of go mad with with that. Really, um, yeah. That's it. It's, got, it's, it's one of those things that it's you know. So I talk a lot, basically, with people that come and see me about balance. Mm -hmm. so when you're looking at it on a plate, you want to have a nice balance between good carbohydrates, good proteins, yeah. good fats as well. Because yeah, yeah. one realises, um, you know, getting that balance. So something like this has got all of those things in one bowl. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's it. It's, it's all about balance, isn't it? Um, and yeah, you, you can easily get that with, with this recipe. So yeah, so for you guys that, that have been following, like I say, Take your oats, cover it, put it in the fridge. Done. Okay, so we've got um, actually it's quite a big question. So okay. we've got a lot of time this one. So, um, what are healthy foods in your opinion, and what is your favourite healthy snack? Um, there's so many things you can talk about here. What? what <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are the most healthiest foods that you would recommend, and what's your favourite healthy snack? Um, I think. To be honest, like like we've we've touched on, I think a, a, health, a healthy food. Obviously, you, you've got to look at it from from like a, a whole kind of standpoint. Um, and I think balance is really important. Like I say, for for me, because of the volume of training that I'm doing, um, and the I guess the energy that that I'm burning, the intake that I I need to have is probably higher than than kind of the, the average person that's not doing as, as much training as me. So for, for that person, 
it's probably not well it's definitely not healthy to, to kind of eat the, the amount of foods that, that I do um but again it's, it's about balance you know as long as you, you're getting you know plenty of fruit and veg and you know protein and, and good carbs I think that's for me that's that's kind of what I aim for like I say by no means um is my nutrition perfect and to be honest I'm, I'm not a great cook um something that, that I do need to work on but yeah it's just about it's just about balance for, for me um and as far as a, a healthy snack i mean obviously like fruit's really great um I'm trying to think what um beef jerky as well that's that's very very good for, for me particularly um like I say on the days that i'm doing um like three sessions if i need a quick snack high protein after a swim you know just just a little packet of either beef and the or they do this salmon jerky um just having that in my bag that that i can eat you know very very obviously very high in protein um great for my recovery um and also the protein powder that that i used in in my um my overnight oats i sometimes have a, a protein drink that i can can have after the pool um yeah i, I guess those are my favorite healthy snacks as far as i could a healthy meal i'm a really big fan of fish i love you know any any kind of fish um so yeah just just a piece of salmon you know add some rice or you know boiled potatoes just a mix of vegetables and you know i'm really happy with that and you know that's, that's a great meal for me that's that's going to fuel me and and help me recover and i think um based on that so i'm vegetarian Okay. Yeah. Um, so my my wife has me in fish, and for me, basically, for those that are on this on this session, that vegetarian, you know, pulses. Yes, yeah. yeah, so I get lots of greens. I get lots of different vegetables. Yeah. Um, you know, I love things like spinach and kale. Um, I think it's another thing that we talk about, and I'm sure you, Ollie, will have the same with your colleagues. That you know, just being vegetarian doesn't mean you can't get some of the essential foods. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just knowing what those are, isn't it? Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because I mean, I'm I'm guessing f- for you then, Manesh. Um, obviously, protein's the the biggest thing that you need to supplement in your diet and make sure that you you get enough being being a vegetarian. So, kind of what what sources do you use for for getting that into you into your diet? Yeah, and exactly that. So basically, I have lots of oats. Yeah, because um, you know, it's high source of protein. I do have yogurt. Dairy, I have to be careful. So anyone that's like me, vegetarian, be careful with dairy because, again, you get to too much dairy, then the fat content starts yeah. going up. Um, so I guess it goes back to what we're saying about balance. Um, you know, I do have a protein, you know, supplement, um, but again, I don't have too much because yeah. people think that you can just keep on adding more and more. It doesn't matter how clean it is and it's going to work. It doesn't necessarily work like that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. But I think the also thing is, and I don't know probably if, if you do this, but... You know, I talk to a lot of people about um, checking food labels and yeah. just having a, an understanding of basically what saturated fat content you're having, um, what sugar content you're having. Do, yeah. do you do that or do people you know do that? Um, to be honest, I don't do it kind of a lot. Um, like I say, I, I try and eat as balanced as possible and, and try and eat as, as well as I can. But obviously it is great to, to kind of educate yourself on, on what to look for and um, what you need, what's good, what's bad. Um, and I do think it is obviously a really good practice to, to do that. And um, we're lucky at British Swimming, we've, we've got a great nutritionist. So um, any kind of questions or queries that we, we've got, we've, they can kind of guide us and, and give us kind of the best, best way forward um but yeah it's definitely important to to know exactly what you're putting into your body so i talk to um the, the parents out there that i train and i say basically just like actually you've demonstrated with how your your kids can do this at home yeah. you can teach your kid how to read a food label yeah yeah, yeah absolutely. Or almost get them to understand what it is that you're looking at in terms yeah. of just keep the saturates and the sugars you know down where you can and actually make it an activity for them when you go shopping Yes, yeah. Because yeah. again, you and I know, and even as kids, I, I'm going to be the first one to admit, I always wanted the candy. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I always wanted the sweets. If somebody had told me basically just what I'm looking at, it might have made a difference. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Obviously, it's, you know, every, every kid's like that, aren't they? They they always want kind of the, the sweets or the, the chocolate and stuff. And um, yeah, just just if you if you can 
kind of educate yourself on exactly what's in it. Like you say, maybe you'll you'll make better choices. Um, but then again, I will say you can't live like that all the time. You do need to obviously treat yourself sometimes. But it, I think my my kind of rule of thumb is generally, if as long as I'm getting everything that I need, eating a really balanced diet, it's okay to have a treat now and then. Yeah. Everything in moderation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, mentally as well as physically is important. Yeah. Isn't it, to, absolutely, you know, yeah, absolutely. And we've had, um, yeah, a really good question actually. And um, in terms of supplements, mm-hmm. so you know, you and I will advocate having a balanced diet, getting everything natural through foods. Do you take supplements, and, and if so, why? Yes. Yeah. No, I, I do take a few supplements. So I take um, omega three, um, a vitamin D, uh, a probiotic. Um, what else do I take? And just a general kind of multivitamin. Um, and I've also start actually just started um, taking zinc and vitamin C um, just to just to I guess boost those levels up a little bit. And for me, um, like I, like I said, with British swimming, our, our sports science team are really good, and they kind of give us advice on on what we do, what we need, and um, regularly get our levels checked. So. For instance, vitamin D, for a long while I was, I was quite deficient in, in vitamin D um, and I started taking it and it made a really big difference. So, um, for, like I say, for me, it, it made a difference. Um, but I think it's just, again, being sensible and um, thinking what, what you actually need and things. Did you have um, professional advice before you took any supplements? Yeah, yeah. So, we obviously, we worked with the nutritionist at British Swimming and also the doctor. Um but I think probably if you are looking at kind of supplementation, that that's almost secondary to the diet. I think if you once you can get your food in order and that's sound and, and you've kind of nailed that, um, then obviously through support you can you can ask talk to your doctor or, or what what have you. Um, the supplementation comes after the diet. I think so. You just get the diet. And the food right first and then kind of look look at the supplementation yeah brilliant yeah well said um that's yeah, pretty much exactly worth the word what i would tell my clients um you know there's a lot out there but make sure that you've got the right advice from your gp or yeah. before you do that um ollie i can't believe i'm gonna say this again we're we're, we're out of time <laughs> yeah so quick yeah, yeah quick, quick. um so everyone that's uh, logged in today i hope you've uh, enjoyed the session with ollie and i and you're looking forward to, to talk, tucking into your own lives uh, tomorrow. Um, just a reminder of the rest of the slide, if we could get that one up, that'd be great. Um, so yeah, basically, you know, we'll have all this available on, on the internet, um, so you can check this out as well. Um, so it'll be on the screen. Thank you for all the questions, some really good ones, and thank you, Ali, for, for going through them as well. Um, don't forget, we've got one more session to conclude the series uh, tomorrow, so we're going to go through mindfulness and resilience. Um, important now as ever um, so yeah we hope to see you all again at 9am tomorrow on zoom and um, if you don't have the link for tomorrow please email uh, Hayley Reynolds um, in the events team for more information um, Ollie thank you again um, yeah. and for everyone else uh, watching at home have a great day and yeah see you in the last part of the series tomorrow see you tomorrow guys yeah, have a good one bye, bye.